All right, guys, it's happening. I'm all packed up. It is currently 2.46 in the morning. We're headed to the airport. And first stop is France, guys. We have an 18-hour travel day. I know, sounds so insane, but we will be there in a jiffy, I hope. <laughs> I'm so excited, though. Oh, okay, guys, see you guys in France. I am officially in Paris. I am so excited. <laughs> I am in love with the city. We've only been here for a couple days, but I'm so fucking in love with the city. So Neza and I have actually been in France for about a week now. We started off our trip in Cognac, France. Uh, we came for some work stuff. We got to go and visit some vineyards where they make Cognac. We had some really nice dinners. Then we took a train into Paris. We went on a boat. We went out to dinner for Bastille Day and we got to see the fireworks. Guys, it was just so pretty. Everything is so beautiful. And this past week has already been a dream. So I'm so excited for what the rest of my trip is gonna look like. Uh, we're gonna be out here for a month. Not in France, but we're gonna be just in Europe for a month. Anyways, so today is our last and only free day in Paris. So we are going to be doing the full shebang. I wanna get as close to the Eiffel Tower as possible. That is the goal. That is the ultimate goal for me today. We got some things planned. But we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna enjoy the city. We're gonna try and walk as much as we can because this is a city that is definitely walkable, which I love. It's just like New York. Guys, also the jet lag kicking our asses. Oh my gosh, I have not had a full night's rest yet just because we have been working, doing stuff, filming, getting up early to work. Like, it's just been a whole thing, but it's fine. It's worth it. I can sleep when I get back to LA. That is what I keep telling myself. So I'm either going to regret that or I'm going to be thankful that I'm not sleeping. Guys, is it ridiculous that I've never used a steamer before? Like on my own, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been there when people have used them and I would like help them kind of, but I don't own a steamer. I always use like an iron. I don't know if that's, that's bad. They, I feel like people are gonna yell at me. Like, why do you iron your clothes? I don't know. <laughs> you for any yeah but the hotel room i'm in doesn't have an iron they have steamers which is already red flag for me that they don't even have an iron in here you know but this is the shirt i'm gonna wear today it's a little cropped uh blue bayonet but guys packing for a month is not easy so everything in my suitcase wrinkly as a piece of paper so we're gonna try and like steam this out i just hope i don't burn my shirt or i don't know ruin it <gasps> I mean, it's definitely taking the wrinkles out, whether I'm doing this right or not. There's just a bunch of water coming out of it, like all the clothes, I guess, huh? I just like need it to look somewhat decent, you know what I mean? I don't need it to look like a perfect sheet of paper. Good enough. What am I trying to impress anyways, you know? Probably like five people come up to me while I've been here on this whole trip speaking to me fluently in French and I literally am like oh my gosh I don't know what you're saying I feel so bad one person was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry you look French and I was like I just need to let you guys know that because I felt important anyways Nez is meeting me at the flea market so I will see her in a little bit Who decided to show up? Guys, I was on the toilet for hours this morning at 7, so officially back on track. Officially cleared out. Cleared out and ready. Ew. Oh, we're gonna get run. <laughs> Guys, the amount of times Franny and I have almost gotten run over on this trip is actually insane. Are getting McDonald's. 
McDonald's because I just wanted to see. We've never had McDonald's in France. They have some different things. Okay, like what is on this burger? We don't know. They also have a, a wrap with goat cheese. They got, shit, they, should get, they got shit called like the 280. Yeah, what, what's the 280 original? And what's the CBO trademark? I just want to know. Okay guys, we got the ranch chicken we got mini wrap. Because they stopped making these in America like 10 years ago. I haven't had this since I was young, so. So we saw it on the menu and we're like, sure. Wow, wow, cool, hot. Hot. It's hot. Literally, Be it's better than the one in America. Literally, 10 times better than the one in the US. Really? I could have like 50 of these. <gasps> I hope they sell them all over Europe. This was our uh, pre lunch, pre -lunch snack because we're going to go uh, try escargot now for the first time. Fuck fuck. Dude, that's going to be bad. I think, I think just knowing that I'm eating it is going to fuck me up. No, we have to just like close our eyes and pretend we're eating something else. Here we go. <laughs> all right, guys. It's happening. Look at those snails. Guys, I've waited my whole life to do this. <laughs> Is that how you do it? Yeah, so you go like this and grab. I've watched, I've watched videos. She's the profesh. I don't know, Franny. I can't, I can't look at it. Hold on. Ready? Don't think about it. No, pretend, it okay. pretend it's like, um, like a scallop right, right, or something. Right. Yeah. It tastes like lobster. Or like lobster? Yeah, or like, it it's like the consistency of like, like a lobster or like crawfish. Yeah, like to like, me, like it felt like I was eating crawfish. Yeah, and the sauce is so good. No. Nope. Okay, that works too. Whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat, Franny. Oh my god, <laughs> Franny. No, Franny, you have to. Go. Franny. Okay. This is a big guy. Okay, ready. No, I know. You got part of the shell. Oh, uh oh. Well, oh, yeah, because you were clawing at it. And yeah, it tastes like seafood. Yeah. What the? Yeah, because we just ate a snail. I know. That's not. I know. Guys, we we are we made it. We are we. No, what's the thing? What? Are you happy to be in Paris? Oh, we. <laughs> Everybody looks like a damn ant. Next no, to this I know. Thing. I, it doesn't even do it justice. We didn't realize how big it was. It's we, insanely it's huge. It's actually freaking enormous. I feel microscopic compared. And to I that. bought a baguette to literally just chomp on. I had to while I'm standing next to it, right? Franny has a cute little beret to show you guys. She's gonna put it on because I think it's adorable. God, guys, I'm gonna put it on. If I look dumb in it, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> no. Guys, we found a little baby bug. A little weighty baby bug. It's just a baby bug. That's good luck. Is it? Yeah, it's good luck when they land on you. She's like, welcome to party. <laughs> Guys, Franny is going to put on her, My her beret. beret. <laughs> but we don't know how this is going to go because it's super windy and we don't have a mirror. My hair is dirty. Yeah, it's so. Like flipped up. <laughs> oh my. It's for the mems. I don't even know how you put one of these on. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Do you want to see? Flip the camera. I'm scared. Dude, I'm taking it off, bro. No, it's so cute. It's so cute. Now hold your hold your little baguette and it'll be a moment. <laughs> This is crazy, guys. Just Franny in her beret eating a baguette in Paris. I've never eaten so much bread before in my life. <laughs> this, is, this is unreal. No, so did you ever think that you'd see me in front of the Eiffel Tower with a baguette and no, a beret? No, never. This is this is going down in the books for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. So I got back to the hotel. I got ready super super quick for dinner tonight. We are headed to a restaurant called Ferdi. I think that's how you say it. It's supposedly supposed to have the best burger in the entire world, and Neza's super stoked about it. She's the one who made the reservation, <laughs> but I'm really excited as well. So we're headed to dinner in a couple of minutes. We've just been out and about doing a million things. So guys, when I tell you, I slicked my hair back because my hair. I just wish I could speak to you guys because I would have been like, why didn't you tell me my hair looked like that the whole day? It's just, it was so dirty. I haven't washed it all week. It's okay, but she slicked. She slicked back, it's fine. I put just a little bit of concealer on some liquid blush, some lip, and calling it a day, and some bigger hoops. Um, and then I have this little black tube top on, and then like a long black maxi skirt with some like 
heels, nothing crazy. But I do want to show you guys this. So guys, I bought this comb from this place called... Oh my gosh, I'm going to try to read this and please bear with me. Officine Universal Bully. That is what the place is called. Um, it's basically an old apothecary. So they have old perfumes and makeup and just beauty things, beauty products, hair products. Not that they're old and were made hundreds of years ago, but this building itself and the company itself has been selling these products since I think the 1800s. Yeah, founded in 1803. And it's literally, that place is like a dream, guys. It is so beautiful in there. I bought a comb with my name engraved in it and I'm so excited about it. I feel like it's like the perfect Paris souvenir to bring home with me. I went shopping today. I didn't find anything that I really was like crazy about that was worth taking home with me. So I just didn't want to go into like a Zara and buy clothes. I just wanted to buy something that could not be found in the US, at least like in person. So this is her. <laughs> Guys, she's so cute. Guys, she's so cute. I love her. Engrave your name into it and everything. I'm like, I wanna brush my hair right now. It's such a good size too. You could slip this into a purse, into a bag. It's so easy. Neza also got one. She got a different one, but she got one engraved with Neza on it. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. All right, guys. So um, yeah, I just wanna show y'all what I bought. All right, guys, we're headed to dinner and we are going to try the most insane burger apparently in the world. Like celebrities fly into Paris just to eat it, which is pretty ridiculous. I'm like, who? does that but i mean i guess if you have money I'd probably do a lot more shit too if i had a billion dollars <laughs>